The CEO of United Airlines and two other top executives at the airline stepped down because of their links with the Port Authority of New Jersey and New York, which runs Newark Airport. And apparently there have been some allegations there of improper dealings between the airline and the government authority. It's a complicated case. The airline wanted a lot of things from the government agency, and the agency running the airport wanted a lot of things from the airline. Probably the most obvious here is that there was a special flight that United Airlines ran that was apparently half full between Newark, New Jersey and South Carolina. That happened to be the same place where the chairman of the agency running the airport had his weekend home. So this was dubbed the chairman's flight. Now this happened at a time that the airline was looking to renegotiate its leases at the airport and also at a time that wanted to have a rail extension brought directly to the airport. So it's unclear if there was a direct quid pro quo, but the airline itself did its own investigation, and whatever the findings were there were enough for the CEO to step down. The only reason that this so-called chairman's flight has come up in the first place or any of United's dealings with the Port Authority is because of an incident several miles up uh, the river from here where there was a lane closure at the George Washington Bridge. The so-called Bridgegate scandal is what started everyone looking at the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, looking at their interactions. And that's how, you know, strangely enough, the CEO of one of the world's largest airlines stepped down. This one removal here should not have a direct impact on consumers, but anytime there's a change in leadership at the top, uh, customers are going to notice things differently. For United, the goal here is to operate a better, more on time, and more efficient operation.